Social Democratic Party, we seek to harness the best qualities in all our people to transform the destiny of our nation. And in that direction, and as the fulcrum around which our health policy will evolve, we will, before the end of 2021, introduce and begin the implementation of a free primary health care plan. This will make the provision of primary health care to all Ghanaians, young and elderly, free. Our free health care plan will guarantee a healthy people and provide a healthy workforce needed to accelerate our development. My brothers and sisters, the 2020 elections will be a referendum on the four years of the Nana Akufuado presidency. Four years of nepotism, four years of corruption, four years of stagnation, four years of deliberately abandoning of badly needed social and economic infrastructure, four years of dehumanization, four years of disenfranchising Ghanaians, four years of stripping Ghanaians of their citizenship, four years of deliberate collapse of indigenous Ghanaian businesses, four years of massive job losses, four years of economic hardship. This will be a referendum on the term of a president who has no real solutions for Ghana. A president who is hell-bent on doing whatever it takes to stay in power, including against sound advice, replacing the very voters' register which brought him into office. <clears throat> My heart goes out to the many who have been affected by this government's unjustifiable collapse of Ghanaian-owned financial institutions. It is heart-wrenching to hear government officials justify the huge amount it is spending to manage the impact of the collapse of Ghanaian financial institutions, which they now put at a whopping 21 billion Ghana cities. I weep for the many who have lost their jobs, the many who have lost their jobs, the many who have lost their businesses, and the many who have lost their livelihoods as a result of these policies. I pledge on behalf of the NDC that we shall, within one year, of being in office, pay all funds that have been locked up with the collapsed financial institutions. Within our first year in office, we shall pay to all the beneficiaries all funds locked up in the collapsed financial institutions. It is a promise. We shall not put together any long-term payment plan that will further worsen the li living conditions of the victims. As has been introduced in other economies, the next NDC administration will establish a financial services authority that will be responsible for ensuring that consumer financial markets work for consumers and providers and for the economy as a whole.